Gerardo. What's up? We're here in San Jose. Yeah. You're in a, living in a homeless shelter. Okay. Tell me about it. Um, it's okay. It's not the life to live, but it's okay. Um, being homeless is tough in this county. You know, there's a lot of homeless people here. And um, especially being gay, that's even harder, being in a homeless shelter. And, and tell me about that. In what sense? Well, uh, being gay, being homosexual, and being out on the streets. Uh, you're almost double, doubly persecuted in many ways. Well, yeah, because a lot of people that stay here are straight. There's hardly anybody who's really gay or transgender or lesbian. Um, you get a lot of ridicule here from different types of people. There's a lot of people who are in prison or parole or different types of programs, you know, and um, yeah, you're right. It could be persecuting. And, and I and there's there's the resources. There's not a whole lot of resources. I know that uh, uh, in my own experience, there's uh, two young lesbian girls, um, beautiful, and they wanted off the streets. I couldn't connect them to a church. Gay and lesbian center was full, and I felt frustrated because I couldn't help these girls. You know, and yeah. just because that you know. Do you, do you run into a lot of that, or, I mean... Yeah, there's really hardly any services in the county. Um, different shelters were offered such amount of services years ago, but because of the miscare of those services, they've gotten cut off, and other people who are homeless now don't get those same services as before. So what are you doing to get out of here? Um, just following the program that I'm in. I'm in a mental health program, just working through the steps. Um, you know, just waiting on life, you know, waiting for decisions to be made. That's the whole part about it is decisions. We always have to wait for everybody else's decision before we can, right. you know, do anything. Um, and how did you end up on the streets and how long were you on the streets? Um, I've been homeless since I was 15. Really? Yeah. Why? Um, not getting along with my parents because I was gay. Um, my mom would say, leave, come, go. And I was just always back and forth, back and forth. And so... Um, I worked in my adolescence from like 18 to 23 and then I had like a nervous breakdown and stopped working and then I was homeless on the streets for about three years before I found this place and um, now I've been here off and on for the last four years. Wow. Yeah. And just waiting finally, you know, decisions have been starting to be made just last week. <laughs> yeah. So if it took had, four years. If you had three wishes, what would they be? Um, stop homelessness. That would be one. Um, stop war, that would be two. Um, and everybody to have a house. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you very much for talking to me. No problem.